Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and I was out thrift shopping and I found this a material um, lampshade and I was like, oh, I could pour on that. That would be cool. Then when I got home, I realized that the plastic that's on the inside of it has actually sold. It's starting to fall apart. You can see that. I was like, you know what? That's probably not the best thing for it. So, I've had it sitting here in my studio for a while now. And I keep asking it, what would you like to be? What would you like to contribute? Do you need to be thrown away? No. Huh, okay, cool. What else is possible? And I had the idea to wrap an already painted canvas around it. And I was like, hmm wonder which painting would like to go on that and this one here popped its hand up now for some of you you may remember me doing this this was one that I did using um, acrylic ink now we actually had somebody using acrylic ink showing their stuff on acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group and it, um, actually, that brings me to a point. Um, if you are on that group and you angry face me when I'm making sure that it stays an acrylic pouring and fun place, um, please consider not being part of the group. I'm looking out for you guys. You guys joined it because it's an acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group. And when somebody posts something that um, they're quite clear that it was acrylic ink and not done through acrylic pouring, then I question that. Once she pointed out that her methods were very similar to ours, it wasn't alcohol ink, I was like, okay, cool, you can leave your stuff up. But I've still been getting angry faces from people, so please, 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 I'm doing it for you guys. Don't be so rude. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. But this one was acrylic ink um, mixed into my house paint. And it curdled. It went weird. A lot of you really, really liked it. It's grown on me. It's, it's sat in my gallery for about a year. But nobody's put their hand up and said, I want to own it. So, um... And it said it wants to be a lampshade. So let's give it a go. Because it's the right size. So I'm actually going to stop talking. And I'm going to just record this. And then I might over talk it. I might not. But let's see what I do. Okay. So the first thing was to get the canvas off the, um, off, off the box. <laughs> I just used a craft knife, cut it around the edges and lifted the box out. Then I was trying to decide whether what shape to make it. Um, in the end I decided to go with the full piece and just make it bigger than it originally was, which was kind of easy. So stripped off the original because as I'd shown before the plastic was pretty manky. And uh, it was time to get to putting those two bits that were not attached to each other into the thing. I decided it was best to do both sides at the same time rather than try and fit in the second one. So I got some double sided sticky tape and laid it out and then trimmed so that the double sided sticky tape was on the fold that led to the top of the painting uh, and then literally just started to roll and fold sticking that sticky tape down and uh, I needed to trim on the piece that had the center for the bulb I needed to trim just to get it around the little archy bits and then 
Next thing was how did I finish it? It looked a bit manky just sitting there on its own. Sorry about the videoing here. I kind of got a little bit close to myself. So what I decided to do was to cut the overlap back to the paint so that it sat into the colours that were on the under bit. Uh, I think it came out pretty well actually. It was quite quite fun to tutu with that. Uh, yeah, then just put that last little bit of tape in and uh, not having it there had made it really easy to do that tutuing part. So then it was a matter of just getting it all tight and trying to get it straight. It's not perfect, it's not, but hey, it looks pretty cool to me. I would have it sitting in the stand like that, with the light bulb at the bottom. And I think I like it. Consider it's my first lampshade I've ever made, I'm pretty quite proud of that. <laughs> the paint is thick enough to hold some shape and I would probably, 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 probably add a layer of glue through here um, and maybe even through the seams just a, a bead just to hold it because that's that's just double sided sticky tape that I've used there it'll hold it in place long enough for glue to dry and um, I just suddenly thought I actually don't have <laughs> anything that I would um, like I don't have a lamp stand at all I wonder what it would look like hanging from the ceiling. Should we try that? Quite pleased with it. Let's give it a go. So that would be a no bob. Um, <laughs> this is the fitting that screws up onto the um, into the ceiling bayonet. And what's this? It falls right through. This is not going to hold this in place at all. So without some further adjustments, I'm not going to be able to get that to work. Uh, so I might just have to leave it for now. Although maybe I know that this, this has been sitting around my light bulb for a few months now. So it does actually, but I don't don't know if it would hold the weight of this. Hmm. That. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. So. Just plug in the heat. Gun. Get out the scissors and let's see what we can do. DIY give it a try episode rather than a there we go that's gonna work
Sí. We put a washer. <laughs> I'm gonna go screw it up now. Not mess it up, screw it up. Okay, there she glows. <laughs> Did you just get that? There she glows. <laughs> Goes right up to the roof. And um, yeah, I'm quite pretty. Oh no, you can see my cobwebs. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I quite like it. How does it get better than that, guys? So there you go. If you've got a long painting, you can make a lampshade. I'm going to find a lampshade that I can just paint, pull paint all over. But this way, doing it this way, you actually can create nice looking cells and then make lampshades of them all. Hmm. I wonder who's next. Who else can I make lampshades out of? Hmm. Oh, we could have a birdie lampshade. Oh, we could have so much fun. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for joining me on this exploration on what else you can do with your paintings. And uh, how much fun can you have exploring what else is possible in your life, your living, and your painting. I adore you all. Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And uh, what else is possible? Bye-bye.